Hey. G'day guys, We're, welcome back to another episode of Kino and Mangs. So, Dan's just got back from Canada, so welcome back. I like that. Had a good time? Yes. Yeah, it it's sweet. Unreal. Sweet. So, straight up, we're gonna plaster dip the, the silvery grill part. We've Gross. already pre-taped the, the Subaru badge. Uh, there's an overlay going on that anyway, but you'll see that shortly. Um, yeah, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take you through one, what you'll need to just take this off, and just a general how to plaster dip your, your Subaru grill on an Outback or, you know, whatever. Any other grill, really. Yeah, it's pretty simple, it's pretty straightforward. Um, so, yeah, yeah we'll get cracking. <laughs> Flick her up. Now it's a pretty easy step. Um, you've got four little screws one, two, three, four, and then four clips. All you're going to need is a flathead screwdriver. That's it. It's pretty easy. So, what you're going to do is put your flathead underneath and sort of maneuver it out. And there's one. Um, on the other side, same thing, flick them up. Sometimes they require a little bit of persuading. Two. On the other side. Flick them up. One's easy. Four. And look at that, the grill's already come Lushy -gushy. apart. Then you just gotta get your flathead again and sort of stick it in this groove to just detach the one, two. Two, <laughs> three, just pressing down a little bit so it engages. And yep. it cams the pack. And just then on a super rat back, you have your radiator, which is this thing, and sort of like a bit of a hole. So if you drop anything down there, likely chances are you'll be able to fish it back out again. Plaster dip or even bunnies. Yeah. If you're in Australia, bunnies and some old newspaper that you've probably read or haven't read, depending if you read the newspaper or not. Not my choice. Actually, shake your can really well. Plastic dip is basically just a rubber coating. Uh, comes in various different colours. We chose black. We chose black. To get rid of this ugly, ugly silver. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, once you get in, um, it's pretty straightforward. It's just a ton of coats to keep it all nice and good. Uh, over time, it will probably perish in the weather and the sun, but I think it's like good for about two, two to three years. Yeah, about that. Yeah. Depending on how much exposure it does get. Obviously, cars that live in garages and whatnot are going to wear a lot less than cars that spend a lot of the time in the sun and in the weather. So, yeah, we're going to get stuck into it and start spraying it. Because now it's dry. Hooray! You excited? Oh, yeah, it's going to look sick. It's going to look good. It's going to look really good. Ah, so
to yeah, your plaster dip to dry. Don't touch it. Dan got impatient and look. He touched it. Just go over the top of it again and it should be right. What are we doing now, Kino? We're going to do the uh, back chrome grill too, just to match. Um, so we're just going to tape them up to the back here, and then just do our back chrome. And yeah. So we're just going to tape it up first. So, um, probably like eight months ago, seven months ago, before I went overseas, I uh, ordered some overlays. They're like a vinyl sticker that goes over your badges of your car. So we're going to add some to the front and the back, um, just to go over your Subaru emblem. Um, so this is what they look like. This is the mini one for the steering wheel. I love mountains, so, uh, kind of that's my theme-ish. Um, yeah, it's not focusing. It's in white. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so, um, it's a mini Subaru badge with a mountain in the background. So what we're going to do is stick it onto the steering wheel. Should look pretty sick. Um, first thing you're going to need is some alcohol prep pads. It just, like, removes any grime and dirt from the... where you're applying the sticker, so... Just... And your steering wheel is super grot, because it's where you do all your sneezing and human gunk. Gross things with hands. Human... Ugh. Dirt. Yeah. So, yeah, we'll just, um... Oh, that's it. Give it a quick, quick uh, swipe down. So uh, Liam just showed me that all you have to do is peel the freaking sticker up. It's you just pick off from the corner of the actual overlay because that's what the sticker part is. One opportunity. <laughs> now it. Yeah, that looks sick. And then, yeah, once we have the grill back on and the plaster dip all dried on the other ones, the big ones will go on the actual badges and then it'll be I full matching. Be so sick. So uh, with the theme of the human grot on the steering wheel, this was the alcohol pad of that tiny symbol. But like, you don't even touch that part. Look at it. You probably need to focus on that. There we go. Oh, look at it, it's so gross. Hello there. We did it. Yay, it's, it's done. It's done. It's down there. You can't really see it, but uh, yeah. She's looking good. Um, what we're gonna do is use the Stanley knife to cut the newspaper off because we don't want to like peel the newspaper up and then lose yeah, cause our paint. This part is obviously attached to the rest of it, so if you pull it, it's just gonna peel back um, what you've done. All our hard work, so. So remove what you can safely, but things where it's such as, I'm just gonna do a quick zoom, is that part. You wanna be careful as you pull it back because it can potentially rip from there and pull all that part off through there. So 
so far so good. And I'm just gonna play it safe at this section here. Just so we don't lose the part that we we really want. Sort of wants to come. Yeah. So it's honestly pretty easy to put it back in. Um, sort of doing this in the darkness at the moment. But you just got to line up your four clips at the top and the bottom. There's these prongs. Each prongs here have to line up with these two. Get your base in first. Do they go in? No, they probably just click on the back. I just put that one in. Did you put it in like that? Yeah. One of my clips fell off, but it's no biggie. Uh, looking on that side. Now we just pop all the. That looks pretty main. On there. And then. Remember where you put your clips? On the ground. Or, or drop them. <laughs> <laughs> They're really easy little clips. So the best way to do it is take the actual like initial part in out first, the little the top part, put that bed back in properly, and then s literally just push it in. It's that simple. One, two. Find the other bits. Smack. Smack. And there you go. And that's it. It's in. She's back in. Um, honestly, looks pretty good. Drop the bonnet and... Well, uh, we're going to do some more stuff in the morning. So we'll probably film the rest of it, finishing it up in the morning. So that way... It looks a little yeah, nicer in the yeah. sunlight. Yeah, so be able to see it a bit better. Um, but like overall, it looks so clean. We are going to. Bloop. Hooray! The last piece of the puzzle. Well, mostly. Second. So, same as the interior badge, we've got to pat it down, get rid of all the grime and the grot. It is pretty filthy. Honestly, um, just because of being out in the weather the whole time and popping the brunt of everything. So just going to give it a quick clean. It's cleaner than the one on your inside. I don't believe that. 